What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I have just spent the last, uh, 40, 45 minutes, I think, um, fiddling with mods. <laughs> uh, I, I ran into some issues. Um, you know how I was talking all about towards the end of last episode about how, how much I respect your immersions and want to tickle them and not, uh, disappoint them and basically show you the vanilla farmhouse upgrade and then turn right around and have a modded farmhouse upgrade well uh that's what the past uh what did i say 45 minutes or so was spent doing um is getting that farmhouse to work it is it's surprising and i get that it's complex but it's surprising to me how many broken farmhouses exist out there <laughs> oh hold on Dear Doc, nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from your own garden. Is she rubbing that in? Because I totally haven't been doing that. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care, Caroline. Thanks, Caroline. Parsnip soup. Lovely. But yeah, I I realized I wasn't crazy about the one I originally had, um, which I'm going to learn to like it because that's the one we ended up with. <laughs> uh, but I tried downloading another one, which I thought was awesome. And it added an attic and you go up in the attic and you get stuck. It gets, it's broken. The attic does not function properly. Um, that and, you know, the little hallways um, between like your bedroom and the living room slash kitchen area. Those were two tiles wide, but only one tile of those two was walkable. The other was impassable space. Um, yeah. So I, I don't understand, but I, I get that map making has its issues and it's a lot harder than just creating a texture for something because there's a lot more that goes on in the background, but I don't know. I'm not saying I could do it any better. I probably couldn't, but it, it there's a lot of brokenness with farmhouse upgrades. Um, and unfortunately I did have to reinstall. Dang it, I didn't bring my milker. I'm so bad at this. I did have to install a mod that I intentionally uninstalled because I wasn't using it yet. But basically, it's a trade-off. So with the mod enabled, it allows us to change the wallpaper and floor of this custom house, which 100% I want to do at the expense of... And I'll show you in just a sec. But it, it comes at an expense. And we're going to actually go right there right now and check it out. But uh, the issue is something I spent probably another hour or so just testing different mods to figure out what was causing it and then I figured it out removed it and um, added it back in so <laughs> I intentionally added issues and that issue is this for whatever reason the mod that allows me to change my wallpaper and floor adds an impassable tile behind my house no idea why but it does but guys welcome to my new upgraded abode is fancy and I might, I know I said I wanted to, you know, show you the full thing. I still have work to do in here, not going to lie. Um, the color of these bits right here, you can change the wallpaper, but not that. I want that to match the, it needs to be a little bit different color. So I will tweak that. Uh, my kitchen will probably be changing as well, uh, depending on, you know, that's, that's fine. We'll play it off like we're remodeling our kitchen, you know? This is what came with the house that Robin put in. But, you know, as our tastes change over time, maybe we'll decide we want to do something different. And, you know, I think I might go out and get a new bed and put some new sheets and pillows on it because that's something I want to do. Oh, and then the two-tone stairs. Um, it's it's something that Robin thought would look really great, but in my taste, it, it's not. So I'll probably do some home renovations and, you know, swap out the stairs to make it all one color. And these little uh, lighter wood accents in the corners that she decided to add as well. I'm not really a fan of those. I'd really prefer them to match the, the darker wood of the rest of the walls. So again, another little DIY project I'll, I'll task for my, so yeah, I got work to do, guys. <laughs> Those angles don't exist in the regular farmhouse, so I say that. There's these angles, but I guess those don't exist, so I just need to... I'll, I'll make it happen. But guys, this is the new farmhouse, and I freaking love it. It's cool. I didn't like it at first, but it's growing on me, and then the upgraded one from this is even cooler, so it's going to be nice. And we have an attic, too. Look at this. 
it all all the wallpaper and floor need work because clearly this does not scream attic. But nor do I know what I do up here. Maybe I'll make it into like my man cave, and then we'll get a spouse room and tack it on the side there. This will be like total living room slash library space. And then we even have, and it'll get a fanciful upgrade eventually. Right now it's somewhat basic, but we have a little furnace room, which I don't know. We can pretend like that's. Uh, like the wood heater to keep the house warm. I don't know, but guys, we have we have a functional place now, and it looks it looks so good. I'm happy with it. It's gonna it's gonna grow on me, especially as I start decorating. And as much as oh, I have fifteen thousand. When did that happen? I don't know, but that to me screams. Let's get something upgraded. Um, do we do a building? We could do a building. Right? Um, we could do a building. Do I want to do a building? Hold on. Where am I doing batteries? Hold on. I could upgrade a tool. Um, axe or pickaxe? Pro probably pickaxe? Probably pickaxe. I think. I don't know. Decisions, guys. That or we get another build... Not another building. Upgrade a building? You know what? Maybe we upgrade our barn and then we can start impregnating our cows. Would that be fun? I think that'd be kind of fun. Or we upgrade our coop and then can get ducks and rabbits? <laughs> Decisions. Um, did I, did I price things out? I totally didn't. Um, let's grab... I don't even know what this is going to cost. So let's grab... It doesn't take bars to upgrade stuff. I know that much. I don't remember what's needed for what, but I do potentially want to get a silo upgrade. Hold on. Silo upgrade? That's not a thing. Get another silo is what I was trying to say, but failed to do properly. So let me grab the supplies I need, or I think I need, to get some stuff upgraded. All right. Never mind. Um, We have 32 wood to our name. So I think that means we're going to be, one, cutting some trees, and two, doing a tool upgrade instead, because that, that's not going to cut it. So, um, oh yeah, gold bar. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll do... Ooh, part of me wants to do my axe, but I know I probably shouldn't. And I think this is 10,000? Hold on. Well, I'm headed to town. Let me do some relationship stuff. I can give a gift to Marnie. I can give a gift to Penny. <gasps> Almost at that heart. That's exciting. Oh, and then we can ask her to move in. And... Mm. <laughs> Guys, it's so exciting. Now that we have a house, I can, like, ask someone to move in with me and not feel... Not ashamed of it, but... I can... I can proudly... Invite... My future wife to be... To live with me. <gasps> it's exciting. And then she'll have her own space. Oh, you know what? I've never really had enough room in a farmhouse to decorate on behalf of someone else's interests. But with how much she loves to read, maybe we'll do like... I mentioned doing somewhat of a library in the living room slash library area. So maybe we take a little portion of it and obviously, yeah, make it library-like. But with the... Refine Quartz for Sebastian. Cool. With the intent of making it like her reading space. I think that'd be kind of cool. And not something I ever do. You happy to buy stuff from me? Oh, um, you'll notice if we scroll all the way to the bottom. I had to remove the uh, the Stardew Vineyard mod that added all the different grape varieties. I'm going to re-add it back. They, uh, the mod author did an update to it and broke everything. <laughs> it's not that big of a fix I don't think it was just some extra excess files but basically what happened <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone here has ever modded their own game before but if you ever look in your smappy console it's just like a text box basically um, it generates some red text when issues happen and anytime I pressed a button on my keyboard so it moved at all or picked up an item uh, so I was repositioning some furniture in the house just to just to try it and see what looked good where and whatnot. And uh, it was 
flooding it with red text, like so many issues. And then I walked outside and my sprinklers didn't exist anymore. <laughs> they were literally invisible. And then I hovered my mouse over them and that also flooded my console with red text. So I found out that it was that that was causing the issue. So for this episode, I just uninstalled it. Also, I realized that it said if, if you, um, we're going to breeze right over that though. Because it's it's 6.30 and I'm streaming in an hour and a half and I got to get this recorded, edited, and uploaded before tomorrow. So I'm a bit tight on time, but that's okay. Oh, you know what? I should do that. Wait, so you just trash an item to get rid of it and then you make money from it instead of just tossing it? That's a really cool idea. Except for the fact that I never throw anything away. Although, if that's 15% and it upgrades by 15% each time, what does that mean? You get 60% of the value for an Iridium one? That'd be kind of cool. If you're just feeling rich and lazy and you don't feel like selling to Pierre because he's closed and it's a Wednesday, then you can literally just... Trash your stuff and make money that way, I guess. That's a weird concept, but what the heck? Did things just... Did it just flash black for anyone else? Am I crazy? The library is one of Pelican Town's greatest features. It's funded with the taxes we collect from local business. Li uh, okay, that's the same thing again. What local business? His place... Elliot, uh, not even Elliot. Elliot doesn't sell anything. What business is Robbins, Pierre's, and the doctor? And Joja, I guess? Yeah, probably Joja. They're probably making all kinds of money with Pam shopping there all the time. I don't know. Anyway, I want to go find Caroline and I want to find Penny because I got gifts for them both. Uh, where Where are people at? Penny's up with the kids playing. That's the playground. And then Caroline is where? In the town? Let's go find people. Oh, hello, Caroline. It's good to see you not phasing through walls. That's that's good to see. Um, Am I about to give the wrong thing? No. Summer Spangle and Poppy. Okay. There you go. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. Is it just me or does Abigail play too many video games? I don't think she's very speechless if she's turning right around and talking about her daughter's video game habits. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but. All right, now to go find our, our Penny. I don't even remember how, oh yeah, wow, I'm dumb. I was about to say, I don't even remember how marriage works in this game, but I gotta go find, oh, hello kids, how's it going? Sometimes I look for crawdads in the river. Don't tell Aunt Marnie, but I fed one to a cow once. She loved it. <laughs> Hi, Vincent. Dad's coming back soon. I hope he brings me some toys. That's adorable. Those kids are so cute. Speaking of cute. Hi, Penny. Hi, Doc. Your farmhouse must be pretty easy to clean, huh? Nope. It just got a lot harder, actually. But thank you for assuming that. Thank you. I really love this. I really love you. I mean, um, we'll talk to you later, girlfriend. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. I've done a lot of nothing today, but it's been fun. <laughs> I have enjoyed my... <clears throat> wow. Right as I start talking. Actually, I've been talking this entire time. What am I talking about? I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> Excuse me. I apologize. All right. So, uh, things to do. Um, we have stuff we can do, and now that our pick's gone, it's not the most riveting of stuff, and, and that is, um, actually, you know what, let's be, let's be productive. I've been saying how I want to do a little bit more work on the farm, and yeah, should I go fishing? Probably, but you know, I did this the other night, and it's the reason I'm recording and editing today and streaming, and it's gonna be a, a crunch. Um, I told myself last night, you know what? I've been working hard the past couple weeks. It's it's okay to be respons or irresponsible every once in a while. Why did I come in this chest? I don't remember. Ah, to grab some stone. Um, and some cobblestone path and some stepping stone path. 
But so yeah, that story was going um, to say, wow, I can't put sentences together. I'm going to be irresponsible and do something that I don't really need to be doing right now. And that's cutting trees and working on this path. Because dang it, I can. All right. I, I feel like I made progress, at least a little bit. But we also have a ton of rocks and stuff in the way. And uh, that's not the right menu. This is the right menu. And uh, seeing as how our pick is currently being upgraded, there's not a whole lot I can do there. So we're just going to use up a lot of our rock here and uh, make some more padding and see if we can extend this out a little bit. It's not going to be too crazy, but I just want to get a rough idea. Oh, hi, Mushroom. How's it going? How, how you doing? I'm placing these down and I don't even see them. What the heck? I guess it, I guess they're there, but I don't know. This this is gonna be nice. I'm really gonna. I think I'm gonna really enjoy having this path. Um, just the look of it is it's so nice. It's so natural. It just feels it just feels good, you know. There's something something right about it. And I'm probably gonna have to come back and redo some of this when I can actually see, because right now I really can't, because um, we've got a ton of trees blocking our way. But that's okay. And that's the nice thing about this path is it doesn't really matter too much. Like the look of it is all over the place, kind of. So having it be perfect doesn't really matter that much. Like it's almost better if it looks kind of wonky in places. And I'll definitely come back through and do the lovely game of, you know, hit it and then place another one down until you get the right pattern and feel because oh my gosh it's 1 a.m where did the day go <laughs> i don't know but guys we officially made progress on the farm <laughs> i've been wanting to do just a little bit of something for a while now and did i put on my rock there we go and uh that just really hasn't happened because i've been prioritizing things that need to be prioritized and that really doesn't at least not right now but dang it like i said i'm gonna do it anyway and I'm glad I did. Hi, Koda. Enjoy your sleep. You know what we might do tomorrow? And I don't even know if they're going to have any that I'm going to like. But let's go to Pierre and see if he has any wallpaper and flooring that might look decent. I think what I'm going to do is slowly but surely buy stuff. Not splurge a lot. And I know the smart thing to do is to wait until I get the furniture and wallpaper catalog and all that. But, I don't know. I don't want to have to deal with an ugly, crappy house for that long, you know? Because that's going to be a while. That's, what, 30000 for the furniture? Or, uh, not furniture. Uh, the wallpaper catalog. And, I believe, 300000 for the furniture catalog? So, um, no. I'm, I'm not going to wait. That, that's ridiculous. And I don't have that kind of patience. <gasps> Oh, yeah. I am what I am. Let's go. That's that's some yams. Did I did I smart and buy yam seeds? I think I did. Did I do a big brain? I, I'm not sure, but we'll have to go find out in just a sec. And apparently by just a sec, I mean right now. Uh, and no, I didn't because yams take, I think it was seven days. But we can plant something else. Amaranth, bok choy. Those are both ready in one day. Wheat's ready in two. So let's see if we can just do a, a big harvest of something. Probably not probably not any of those, but let's take care of our animals real quick, and then we shall head to Pierre's. Ooh, but first, a new baby chick hatched. All right, consulting my chicken names list, we have two names that are on my list. I don't know why that took me so long to get out there. Uh, Poppy and Lucy. And I don't know why, but Lucy the chicken sounds... This sounds cute. And I have AC Meanie to thank for this. If I'm saying that wrong, I do apologize. But guys, this is a momentous occasion. This is the first time I've ever remembered to... Well, not first time ever, but first time intentionally I remembered to write down who suggested the name so I can thank them. Guys, I'm becoming a YouTuber, finally. <laughs> beautiful. Speaking of beautiful, I love... 
I love all this. Okay, hold on. So we have one, two white chickens, one, two, three brown chickens, and a duck. So let's get... Is that a duck egg? No. That's a duck egg. Let's get another duck. I think that's the right call. Because that is... So adorable. Lucy seems curious, but a little cautious. It's a strange new world. So cute. All right. That's weird how... That That is a baby chick, right? And not a baby duck? I'm pretty sure that's a baby chick. Lucy, I... I wish... No, yeah, it said a new baby chick is hatched. What am I talking about? I'm losing my mind, guys. Nothing new there, though. But yeah, I think we'll get another brown, uh, white chicken. And then... I... Will that be a full coop? It might be. So, maybe... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why am I so good at this game? Oh, we need to close this door as well. Didn't I say I was going to see you after I took care of my animals? My goodness. Hold on. Let's Let's do that. All right, I realize this is not Pierre's. I also realize I didn't really count how many seeds I need, but I'm going to guess and I'm going to hope I'm right. <laughs> Worst case, we'll buy a few extra and call it good. But I also, like I said, want to get some wallpaper and hope that we find something that's not terrible, which, I don't know, odds aren't too great. And it's also Robin's birthday. I'm, um, let's, I wasn't planning on this for you, but there you go. Uh, Summer Spangle. I don't know what you like, Robin. I'm sorry. <laughs> a birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. You're welcome. Sorry if it smells weird in here, Doc. My, it's my husband's bizarre science project. That's got to be interesting. Having lab stuff happening right next to your business? That doesn't seem very... I don't know. Okay, the next house upgrade is what? 50,000? 150 hardwood? That's easy. But the 50,000, not so much. Uh, and then I wanted to check on the pricing of a... You know what? I was commenting last episode, I think it was, about needing... I think it was 10 super cucumbers. And someone made the suggestion of literally just getting another fish pond and putting one in and getting them that way. And that's not a bad idea. Not at all, actually. So maybe we do that soon-ish. Because I've had the one for a while. Having like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine would be great. It's expensive, but it just pays off, right? And then 10000 for a stable, which I love the look of this so much. Slime hutch. It's a nice looking building. All right, the looks, I'm getting sort of distracted. Big barn is a big brain move. And 12000 450 wood, 200 stone. I'm going to write that down, and I think that'll be the next thing we get. We should uh, we should be able to do that next episode, I'm hoping. I think. Maybe the second day of next episode. That's a Tuesday. Robin won't be here. Just kidding. Hopefully, we can do this tomorrow. We're going to do some fishing today. Hopefully, make some money. I think we'll do some ocean fishing because I need to sell some stuff. But I think that'll be doable. And then, wow, the winery doesn't even fit in here. And that's going to have to happen this winter, too, because, dang it, I want... Oh, I want to work on that vineyard so bad. I got ideas, and it's going to look so good, assuming I can get the mod fixed. Or, I say I get, can get the mod fixed. Assuming the mod gets fixed, which the mod author for the Sturdy Vineyard was saying that they'll have it fixed by brec or after breakfast today. And I don't know where they're at, time zone-wise, but that was eight, nine hours ago, so... We'll see. I'm in no rush. I'm not needing them yet, so no big deal. All right, Pierre, come here. That was slightly weird, wasn't it? I, I'm sorry for that. Oh, and hey, look, it's Caroline. <laughs> I don't have a gift for her anymore. That's okay, though. All right, 14 days. No, 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 no frag plant. Although we could. No. Yeah, just, just based on the harvest price right here. Well, that's a profit of 30. That's a profit of 40. Okay. So maybe I look at it that way? Why do, why do I not think like this ever when I buy crops? <laughs> right now, I just want to make whatever gives me the most... Wow, yams take 10. Okay, I thought they took 7. Cranberry... Ooh, 7 days to mature? I don't want to risk that. I never know how the, the days work. Is it 7 including today or 7 starting tomorrow? 
I don't remember, so I'm not going to risk it. So I think we do eggplants. As weird as that sounds, because it's a multiple harvest, that'll make us 40 per eggplant, whereas bok choy will only make us 30. So, okay, let me try to mentally guess how many of these I need. Okay, 64? I think? We'll find out. That we will. What should you do tonight? Yes, what is it? What? Oh, like, why am I bothering her? Yes, what is it? Okay. I'm gonna go find Penny real quick. I brought her a flower, and dang it, I want to get her to 10 hearts, and we're so close. And it's Sunday, so gifts just rolled over, so we can. So I'm gonna go hunt hunt that girl down in, in a nice way. Oh, hi, Penny. I like your little beret. It's so cute. <gasps> Best friends. Thank you. I really love this. <gasps> you know what? It's raining today, guys. Are we getting married? Are we engaged? Oh my gosh. Hold on. If you want my mother to dislike you, give her a squid. She hates that stuff with a passion. I guess everyone has their hangups. Yeah. Okay. Change of plants. I was going to just fish all day and stuff. And we'll still probably do a little bit of that. But it's raining. And we have a house upgrade. And we now have a girlfriend with 10 hearts. <gasps> Let's go talk to the mermariner. The mermaid mariner. I really should have changed the text file for the dialogue. <laughs> Having the mermaid say boy is really weird. You're not quite ready for that yet, boy, said the mermaid. <laughs> All right. Guys, th I did not think this was going to happen today, but Sabrina. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. There's a special someone in your heart. Just so happens I'm selling one of my precious mermaid's pendants. See, doesn't that make way more sense that a mermaid selling a mermaid's pendant than some, like, creepy old mariner? I don't know. It makes sense to me. Ooh, it's money. I forgot about that. Give that to your intended and they'll know exactly what you mean. <gasps> Happening. Yep. I don't care. I'm excited. I'm very excited. The barn can wait. Love cannot. Penny, come here. I can't run any faster than this. I, I, w I wish I could, like, enter into a sprint, like a full-on sprint for dramatic effect. I guess I could walk and then be like, Penny, I'm coming for ya! It kind of works, but not really. Is it romantic to propose in the library? Probably not. You know what? <laughs> I'm taking this probably too far, but oh well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fish here. This is not the ocean and not where the money fish are. But I think I need fish from here anyway. I'm going to fish here until Penny walks out. And then we're going to propose to her in the pouring rain. I think that's a... I don't know. It's a bit better than in the library, I think. So, I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, guys. She's coming. Oh, crap. So is Pam. Penny. Oh, wow. Yo, oh, come on. <laughs> Why is my back? <laughs> Whatever. She's speechless. I accept. I'll set everything up. We'll have the ceremony in three days, okay? Doc, I, I'm a little scared. This is such a big change. Penny! Mwah. Go. Be free, enjoy your last three days living in a trailer because it's time to upgrade to a brand new house that I just had built. That sounds so fancy that I can say that. Guys, we're engaged! We're engaged. That's exciting. I'm going to go celebrate by, um, by fishing, I guess, because I, I do need to still be productive a little bit. Um, I don't want to, but... I, I'm going to be responsible. And since we are catching stuff here, we do still need shad. We do still need um, some walleye. So I think I'll just stay fishing here for today. And then uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Should I clarify and say bachelor... Not bachelor anymore. Um, engaged Doc will we'll see you in a bit. I, I am way too excited by this. I'm sorry. Oh, crap, guys. Guess what I forgot to do? A couple things, actually. I guess I was uh, blinded by love. Let's go with that. Not just forgetful like normal. I have an excuse today. 
Um, <laughs> if I if I have an excuse, then I'm gonna use it. Um, I forgot to look at wallpaper and floor at Pierre's, like I said I was gonna do, like twice. Um, that didn't happen. Also, guess who still has 64 eggplant seeds on him? Um, it's me. I, I gotta go plant those. And I figure, because we're waiting so late to do this, we're gonna go fertilize a little bit, because I think we're gonna be... Actually, I don't have to plant all them, right? Because only some of them are... Yeah, I only have to plant a little bit today. Okay, it's gonna go way faster than I thought. I don't have 64 to plant tonight, but... Oh crap, I didn't count this right. I'm gonna be replacing bok choy, amaranth, and wheat, and I... That's totally not right, but I'll fix it tomorrow or Tuesday, just before Wednesday when Pierre's close. So, it'll be fine. Okay. Let's get our... Ooh, we've never done this before. Aged pufferfish row. How much is that worth? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, do we have more of that? I'm pretty sure we do. We're going to have a little bit of a late night tonight, guys. Um, I want to grab... Oh, wow. Five. Sweet. Um, let's sell some stuff while we're here. Eh, we'll sell that. Eh, we'll sell that. And that. What's my fish situation looking like? Why don't I have... Eh, I'll worry about it later. I got other stuff to do right now. Oh, wait. I left the fish out. It's not very efficient of me, is it? No, it's not. Dang it, speaking of not efficient. I want to lay some torches down. Wow. Our deck got hit by lightning. That's that's interesting. I have two torches. Can I make more torches, please? That that should be good. I want to lay some of these down along this path. And if I have... Gosh. <laughs> How many times can I go into the same chest to get one thing at a time? Let's find out. I was going to say I'm just going to put these on the ground. But if I have wood fence, which I do, and I'm going to make a little bit more... 20. That works. I don't need the 250. What the heck? What am I doing, guys? I don't I don't even know. But I want to lay some light down. Because this has been looking too too sad for too long. And now that we've got path, I need it somewhat lit up. And this is all probably going to get changed eventually, which is why I'm not I don't really care too much that I'm doing just wood fence. But this is nice. It's going to feel like we actually live here. And I like this. And I might... What is it right there? It's a tree, I think. I might stick with this lighting system. I don't know if if light, um, light posts are going to fit on this farm or not. I really don't. How does this look now? I kind of like having a, a few dark spots between. So it's not just perfectly illuminated. So you're going from one light to the next. I, I think that looks a little nicer than just constantly lit up. And you can achieve that a whole lot easier with torches. Is that going to be there in the morning? Let's fix it. I'm going to be curious why that happened if I don't do it now. You can achieve that look a lot easier with torches because their radius is a lot smaller than you can with uh, anything else because they're just freaking massive and they illuminate everything. So... Oh, beautiful. And we made our money back on that mermaid pendant. Not that love has a price, but it was definitely 5000 And that's 5000 I was hoping to have towards the big barn. So I think we might be able to make that happen. Um, just kidding. Not, not today. That's for sure. But our pickaxe is ready. <gasps> that's exciting. That's incredibly exciting. Robin, what are you, what are you here for? I don't know. But we're going to leave it here, guys, and we will find out what Robin wants from us next time. I have a feeling I know what it is, but I'm not going to say because the cliffhanger suspense. It's it's too good, guys. I, I can't not. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the farmhouse. Um, I'm going to do some work on the little uh, remodeling features that I want to, quote unquote, remodel in this house. Um I don't know when I'll have time, but I'm going to try. Uh, and other than that, I, I don't know what else to say. It, it's a nice farmhouse. I'm very much looking forward to decorating it, and I hope you guys are excited to come along for the ride. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, next episode, I don't even know what we're going to be doing, but we have a wedding coming up in, I think, two episodes. So that's that's exciting. I also realized today was supposed to be uh, a new game, but I just did not have time to get that started. So I hope no one minds a little extra Stardew Valley. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, as always, take care. <laughs>